Hello everyone and welcome to the Hermes Task Group. Today we will look at using a modified version of Santi's Waypoint Editor to imitate the Harrier data cartridge functionality uh, that currently doesn't exist in DCS. Uh, this video is aimed at helping squadrons and pilots who want to quickly and reliably input flight plans into the aircraft without using the mission editor or by reverting to manual data entry. All the tools you're going to need are included in the, in the video description, so let's get started. You can see here we're looking at our combat flight plan and there are 12 waypoints for a relatively complex route that takes us out from Akateri up to the north coast of Cyprus around to our range and then back down over the water for a visual recovery into the airfield. Now for what we're doing today all we really need is to make sure that the lat longs are incorrect in correctly for the plan that we need. Um, Everything else with altitudes and airspeeds is not necessary for what we're doing. Um, so if you need to knock one of these up quickly, just plop the uh, waypoints where you need them. The next thing we need to do is export our NS430 DAT so our modified version of Santi's waypoint editor can read it. So to do this, we're going to just export waypoints for the flight that we want. So today that's fix and one. I'm going to hit export. It's going to tell us that it's going to create a navades.dat file and it's going to update it uh, and it's going to ask us where to save it. So I'm just going to stick that on the desktop. And that's it for combat at flight. So I'm going to minimize this now and bring up our waypoint editor. Now, waypoint editor uh, is currently in alpha stage or alpha revisions and we've updated it to 101 alpha 2 uh, and visually the only difference between this and Santi's version is there's a slightly different color uh, contrast uh, with a big red delete button so that should be the first indicator that you got the right version and secondly there is this import from combat flight NS430 data function that's been added to the import menu so I'm going to click on this and it's going to bring up a dialog to ask us where our file is I'm going to hit the browse button, bring up navades.dat uh, from my desktop. And you can see now that we've got 12 waypoints that are all individual and they correlate to the flight plan that we looked at. Now, there's no need to use combat flight uh, for all of your planning if you just want to use A and other tools. So if you've got full flight or you're using Sky Vector or something else or even the mission editor, you can manually put these in. Uh, we use Combat Flight because it's relatively quick and accurate. And it also allows us to put our boards together uh, for the flight. Now, the next thing that we need to do once we've verified that this is all good is check that we've got the aircraft type AVAB selected. And we're going to select Waypoint 1. And then I'm going to tab you guys over into DCS. And when I um, out of that, I'm going to head to and back into DCS Waypoint Editor, hit that Enter into Aircraft button, and then go back into DCS. Now, what you should see is the upfront controller now is starting to populate. Um, I'm not touching anything. The UFC and the ODU are being uh, essentially scripted, and they're doing their own thing. Uh, you can go into external views and mess about with other stuff uh, with uh, the views, but we recommend just don't touch anything, let it run its course uh, and put the put the waypoints in for you. In particular, do not hit any of the uh, radios while this is going on. This is not a good time to chat to your flight uh, lead whilst this is happening, because as soon as you hit the uh, press the talk switch, the ODU will populate with your comms menu um, and it will break the input chain for DCS Waypoint Editor. So whilst this is going on, I'm going to just pause the uh, recording and let the 12 waypoints enter and then we'll catch up what it's done. Okay, DCS Waypoint Editor has done its thing now and the mission system has been populated with all of the mark points and waypoints, sorry. And we can see on the hood now we've got W1 for waypoint one. So we know that there are waypoints in there. Unfortunately, because I'm in pancake mode and don't have my joystick in, it's I can't really have a look around just to show you. But um, at this point, you would go through and sanity check and just put your uh, go into the data uh, page of the ESHD and just scroll through just to check everything is where you would expect it to be. 
But that's it. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. And as a quick aside, if you do want to come and fly with us or are interested in learning a bit more about how we operate the Harrier, there is a link to our Discord in the description. So please click on that and introduce yourself and we would love to meet you. Thank you and see you next time.